In this video, I am going to tell you about the symptoms, treatment and what you can do if you have been diagnosed with fatty liver disease. Hi, this is Dr. Prasoon here and welcome back to Dofri. Liver is the biggest organ in human body. When fat deposition increases in the liver cells, it is called as fatty liver disease. It is most commonly seen in alcoholic persons. But when it happens in persons who consume little or no alcohol, it is called as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or what is commonly known as just fatty liver disease. When fat starts accumulating in the liver cells, over time, the liver function decreases. If left untreated, it can lead to liver failure or liver cancers and sometimes liver transplantation surgery might be required. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is a very common condition and it is said that one in four persons is suffering from fatty liver disease. The three main reasons which leads to fatty liver disease is one, overweight, two, diabetes and three, high cholesterol level in your blood. What are the symptoms of fatty liver disease? Often it is asymptomatic and it is often diagnosed when you consult a doctor for another abdominal condition. Fatty liver disease is often diagnosed accidentally when you do an ultrasound of the abdomen or a CT scan of the abdomen. Most persons do not develop any symptoms for fatty liver disease but in some patients they might experience easy fatigability, easy tiredness. Some persons will experience pain in the right side of the abdomen. If fatty liver disease is left untreated or left unattended to, it will lead to the next stage of the disease. This stage is called as non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. It is a condition which is very similar to hepatitis and it is characterized by scarring of the liver tissue, inflammation and swelling and it can often lead to reduction in the functioning of liver. If your fatty liver disease progresses to non-alcoholic steatohepatitis or NASH, symptoms such as engorgement of veins, abdominal swelling, redness in the palm, yellowish discoloration of skin, eyes and urine, all these symptoms may develop. NASH is common in older persons, in those persons who have truncal obesity and in those persons who are suffering from diabetes. An important point to note in the treatment of fatty liver disease is to prevent the progression of the disease to the second stage or prevent the progression of the disease to NASH. Now this can be done only by adopting a healthy diet, by starting to work out, by switching from refined white rice to whole grains, brown rice, including more fruits and vegetables in your diet and always using healthy fats and oils for cooking. If you haven't already watched the video about the differences between white rice and brown rice, I will leave a link below the like button. What are the food items that you can eat if you have been diagnosed with fatty liver disease? Switch over from white rice to whole grains, whole wheat, brown rice. Include oats meal every day. Try to include as much fruits and vegetables in your diet as possible. Many studies have shown that broccoli, a commonly available vegetable, broccoli can prevent the accumulation of fat in liver cells and it is very friendly for persons who are suffering from fatty liver disease. Omega-3 fatty acid containing fish such as sardine, tuna, all can be included in your diet. But instead of frying it, try to make it a curry, steam it or grill it. Walnuts which are also rich in omega-3 fatty acids have also been found to be liver friendly. Try to eat at least one handful of fresh fruit every day. Do not make fruit juices and drink it. Whole seasonal and fresh fruits are highly recommended particularly fruits like avocado which has also been proven to decrease the accumulation of fats in liver cells and what are the food items that you should be avoiding if you have been diagnosed with fatty liver disease try to stay away from fried food stay away from sweets candies cookies and other bakery items fruit juices soft drinks and alcohol is not is not at all advisable for persons who are suffering from fatty liver disease Instead of using butter and other saturated fats, switch over to polyunsaturated fatty acid containing oils such as olive oil, sunflower oil. Now, what are the treatment options if you have been diagnosed with fatty liver disease? 
the first and foremost thing to do is to cut down on your body weight make it a normal body weight ideally it is recommended that your body weight should be 100 less than your height in centimeters for example if your height is 175 centimeters subtracting 100 from it gives us 75 and that should be the range of your desired body weight the main aim of weight reduction is to decrease your body weight by about 10 percentage in a period of six to eight months if you are already obese then sometimes your doctor might recommend even surgical procedures like bariatric surgery the second point to note in the treatment of fatty liver disease is that you should start to work out it is high time that you use this opportunity and start working out do some physical activity start with small workouts such as brisk walking running jogging swimming cycling and before you step up the gears to other types of workout it is better to get your doctor's opinion if you remember the three reasons for fatty liver disease to develop you might not have forgotten about diabetes so if you are a person who is suffering from diabetes and has also been diagnosed with fatty liver disease you must control your blood sugar level for that you should be adopting a diabetic friendly diet you should monitor your blood sugar level and keep a record of it take all the medicines as prescribed by your diabetes doctor and try to keep your blood sugar level in the normal range as much as possible if your blood cholesterol level is high for reducing your cholesterol you should be taking medicines to decrease the blood cholesterol level the aim here is to increase the amount of high density lipoprotein hdl which is also known as the good cholesterol and decrease the amount of ldl or low density lipoprotein which is also known as the bad cholesterol some studies have found out that drinking one or two cups of coffee can prevent the progression of fatty liver disease to the next stage which is non-alcoholic steatohepatitis or NASH and lastly you should be aware that there are some lifestyle habits such as alcoholism which is notorious to to adversely affect the functioning of our liver now if you are someone who has already been diagnosed with fatty liver disease please do not consume alcohol because it will increase the damage which has already started as a result of fatty liver disease and if you are trying to start other types of herbal natural or ayurvedic medicines please consult your gastroenterologist before starting any type of such medicines because some herbal medicines have been found to directly and adversely affect the functioning of liver and even some have been found to be liver toxic so protect your liver reduce your body weight adopt a healthy diet start doing some exercises control your diabetes and blood cholesterol level and reduce your body weight now these are the things that you should be doing to treat your fatty liver disease your doctor might also prescribe you some supplements such as vitamin e or antioxidant supplements which have been found to be effective in preventing the progression of fatty liver disease to the next stage so have you ever been diagnosed with fatty liver disease if your answer is yes please leave a comment below because i'm curious and i just want to know so if you like this video please consider sharing it with your friends and family and always remember that you can easily consult a gastroenterologist using the dofody app sitting in your home itself so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one it's me dr prasoon signing off take care stay healthy and thank you so much for watching